This video is going to explain figures 4.1 and 4.2 on pages 148 through 149 of your text. And we're going to talk about scree plots. Now you may be wondering, if you're like me, when you, when you read this and you first got into factor analysis, how do you decide uh, how many factors you should include in a factor analysis? One of the decisions to, me, to be made in doing factor analysis is exactly that. How many factors should be included in the solution? Well, the researchers that did this test about the uh, mental skills of mice that's discussed in your text used uh, one criterion uh, known as the eigenvalue greater than one criterion, criteria. So, eigenvalue greater than 1. So what does that mean? Well, since an eigenvalue of 1 indicates that we are counting for only as much variance as is contained in one variable, a factor corresponding to less than one variable does not seem reasonable. So any factor with an eigenvalue less than 1 is not included in the analysis. And that's what the researchers in, um, in this mice study that's discussed in the text used as uh, the criterion to, to stop factoring and just to have two factors. But there are other criteria um, that we're going to talk about. Actually, we're just going to talk about one other criterion, and that is using scree plots. Scree is a geologic term, and it refers to the cumulative, the accumulation of broken rock material that is found at the base of mountain cliffs. Uh, there's a picture in your text, and I'm actually going to use the text to discuss this. All right. In factor analysis, a scree plot is simply a plot of eigenvalues from six. Success, uh, successively extracted factors. So you can see that figure 4.1 shows a screw plot from a factor analysis of 13 variables. And you can see just uh, you can see here what I was talking about be before the accumulation of broken rock material that's found at the base of mountain cliffs. Um, this kind of looks similar here. And we can see in this uh, scree plot that the first factor is nearly 5. It's like about 4.7. The second is almost 3. And the third is a little above 1. And the fourth is slightly over 1, 2. But when we get to the fifth factor, we can see that it's below 1. So in the criteria the criterion that we did first, eigenvalue greater than 1, this one you could include four factors because there are four factors that have eigenvalue greater than 1. However, by using the scree plot criterion, only three of these would be retained. So we would have factor 1, 2, and 3. And it kind of seems more reasonable, and I'll explain why. So looking at this geological picture here, um, you can clearly see where the scree slope intersects with the nearly vertical mountain cliffs. You see right here, there's like a knee. Kind of looks like a knee. It bends right there. In a similar way, a pronounced knee of the curve on the factor analytic scree plot is taken as an indication of where the true variance due to factors ends and the scree of random error variance begins and that's right here. All factors beyond the initial three in this analysis would by this criterion, the scree criterion, be disregarded as error. Not all scree plots are so clearly delineated as this one for 13 variables as is discussed in your text. Uh, so we can look at the scree plot for the five variables in the, uh, in the study that's being conducted in your text about mice. And that's in 
figure 4.2. So the scree plot for Locurto et al. factor analysis with five variables. So obviously this one's a little more difficult because you don't see any any knee here, any pre no clear delineation between factor structure and error. So therefore, it seems more reasonable to go with the eigenvalue greater than one criterion, as we did before. So it's helpful to both look at, uh, when you're doing a factor analysis, look at the eigenvalues, see how many are greater than one, but also use a scree plot. Um, if there's a pronounced knee, and you can really see, like we did in the last one, where there could be a, uh, a clear delineation between factor structure and error, then certainly go with the, the scree plot criterion. But if it's like this one, we can do the eigenvalue greater than one criterion. And we see here factor three, it looks like it's just below one, so that's why we use two factors. Factor one and factor two, which uh, both are over 1.25. So I hope this explains why um, table 4.3 in the text on page 143 uses two factors instead of three or four. Um, it's because of the eigenvalue greater than one criterion.